Welcome to Finance in the Clouds. Modern finance is broken, forcing finance and accounting teams to work like it's 1985, the year Excel was invented. Here, we talk about the struggles finance teams face in fast-growing companies and discuss how they can spend less time catching up and more time in the clouds. I'm your host, Jake Jones, multimedia producer and brand influencer here at Zone & Co. And I'm joined this week by Jana Herman, VP of Product in R&D with Zone & Co. Thanks for joining me today, Jana. Yeah, great to be here and looking forward to talking to you today, Jake. Before we begin today's episode, I have some housekeeping for you. This is the last episode of Finance in the Clouds for 2022. We will be returning in the new year on January 6th to talk all about what NetSuite role you should hire for your implementation. Now, we've spent the last few episodes of Finance in the Clouds talking about the complexities of the payment process, as well as heard real life experiences dealing with some of the pressure points. Today, we are going to look at how automation can free you and your team from the tension of payment reconciliation. Jana, excited to talk about really wrap up this conversation we've been having over several podcasts about payments with you. Excited to dive into all of that. But before we do, just wanted to give you some space to talk about who you are and what you do for us here at Zone. So go ahead. So I'm our VP of product here at Zone & Co. And I manage a team of people who are product managers and directors who scope out, you know, what our products are going to do in the future, how we're going to build those things and relay all of those tasks to our developers, make sure we release our products on time and manage them moving forward. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, and you juggle a lot here for us. So really appreciate you taking the time to come on the podcast and talk a little bit about payment reconciliation. So like we said, we've been having a lot of conversations about payment reconciliation and just the complexities of it and everything that's going on with it. Today, we're going to kind of hint towards some solutions and some paths forward for folks. So the big topic here is automation. And we've kind of been hinting at how automation can help with these processes. And we even have an episode of the podcast talking simply just about all the things automation can do to help your business from a financial perspective. But the question I want to jump in with you, Jana, is how can automation free you from the weight of payment reconciliation? So I think that reconciliation is a pain point for folks, not only on an ongoing basis, but especially during a close process. And there are always little discrepancies here and there that people have to review. And I think that the point of automation isn't to cover you 100% of the time. It's to cover you for that 98% where someone really doesn't need to look at that thing. It matches, it flows automatically and it saves the human resources for things that actually need human decisions and intelligence, those, you know, 2% discrepancies or what have you. You know, we were kind of talking about this beforehand. What are some of the things that you can automate as a part of the payment reconciliation process? Obviously, we may not hit all of it, but just what are some of the things that can be automated? Yeah, so you can automate bringing in payments from Stripe through Zone Payments right now. You can also apply those payments to invoices. They are earmarked for specific invoices, whether that's one or many. We have a statement pay feature where you can actually pay down many invoices at once. And then we have reconciliation features. So if there are unapplied payments or standalone payments that you want to handle at the end of the week or the month or whatever it is, you can go through those and just validate or change. The entire integration to Stripe, right, is automated. So you're not entering payments into NetSuite and actually setting up that integration with Stripe is incredibly easy. You really just have to enter a key and the integration is up and running. So I don't think that's the kind of user day-to-day automation that you're talking about, but we've built that automation into the product. And then, you know, the whole process of keying in payments or applying them to invoices really goes away. Zone Payments is an automated tool that helps you receive payments specifically from Stripe, but in the future from other providers as well. Bring them into NetSuite seamlessly through a turnkey automation and reconcile those payments, apply them against invoices, seamlessly finish up your 
payment process uh, without user intervention, but with review if so desired. So I think it's the perfect tool to help a business scale, but to still have that control you need if you want to you know, laser in on a couple um, unique scenarios. Kind of an interesting part of this whole conversation, and, and again, this is a pain point for a lot of people. When you're able to automate this process, how does that change a finance team member's focus? Are they able to focus more on forward thinking work? What's that change look like? I'm glad you said that. Absolutely. I think that being in accounting, crossing your T's and dotting your I's takes up a whole lot of time, but it's not necessarily why you need an experienced accountant or somebody who really knows what you're doing. You want to save their brain power for the hard stuff and the challenges that come up, you know, when you're doing an audit or what what have you. And I think that automating your day-to-day process and reserving that brain power for incidentals, unusual things, really does not only save time, but saves the resource, that drag of being in your job and just checking the box all the time, right? It's a mental load thing as well as actual time saving. Yeah, that mental load is such a huge part of it that you don't really think about that's weighing on your team and weighing on your your partners. And if you can alleviate that, why why not? I would also say, you know, if someone's doing this kind of task by hand, there's always the potential for manual error. You're tired, it's the end of the day, you type the wrong number, that kind of thing is impossible when you flip over to automation. So yeah, it, it saves everybody that potential headache. Absolutely. And not just tired, but just when a lot of it is keying in the same information over and over and over and over. And that gets monotonous and is easy to, did I type this already? Did I copy and paste the right thing? So it's, it's real easy to get lost in that. Yeah, potentially. Or let's say your customer is trying to pay down you know, a certain invoice and not the other one. If they're able to kind of select that themselves and have that payment flow through and apply in an automated way, they're not calling you and saying, actually, I wanted my payment applied to invoice B instead of invoice A. Why are you still send me, sending me this bill? You know, it avoids confusion when it sort of all originates on, on the front end. Jana, how would you see, you know, if a company started to automate the payment process and really kind of free up those finance team members focus, how do you see this changing the scope of a business if you can take advantage of some of these tools uh, for your business? Just volume, right, is a consideration. So if you're sending out 100 invoices a month, that's pretty different than sending out 1,000 invoices a month. If you're receiving 100 payments and having to match them up with invoices, that's different than receiving 1,000. So as you scale, the automation just becomes more and more valuable. And I think that if you're preparing to scale, it's important to get something like this in place so you don't experience the problems that come with just increasing your volume, but not your capacity of hands matching up numbers. Well, it's awesome to see what automation can do. And Jana, again, thank you for being on. And are there any final thoughts or final tips that you'd like to give to our audience just about the future of payment reconciliation and how automation is going to be changing the way we do business? I mean, I see this automation falling within a suite of automated products. And I think that's what Zone is all about. You don't just want to have your payments flowing through automatically and apply to invoices and reconciled. You want to start before that and probably have your entire order of cash process automated. And this just being the icing on the cake at the end of that process. Not necessarily, but I think that, again, if you're a business that's preparing to scale, you can pick and choose which pieces of the process you automate for second and third. But at the end of the day, I think that automated flow through the whole financial process is really what you're looking for. And it's just a question of, do you know your requirements, do you know your scope for any given part of that before you go and implement a tool? Yeah, I think this is part of a whole, really. Well, Jana, thank you for coming in and talking to us all about just how automation can relieve a lot of this pressure that payment reconciliation can add to a business and a company. So exciting to see just how automation is up and coming and 
using it throughout your business to, to automate and simplify things can really change the scope of where your business can go. So thank you for sharing your expertise and, and comments and thoughts with us. Yeah, my pleasure. I am really excited to have some humans as part of our, our family of applications and continuing that theme of automation throughout the suite. So thank you for the time. And now we want to hear from you. How would you benefit from automating your payment reconciliation process? Let us know by emailing hello at zoneandco.com. Finance in the Clouds now posts bi-weekly on Fridays. If you enjoyed today's conversation, be sure to subscribe to Finance in the Clouds wherever you get your podcasts or watch us on YouTube on the Zone & Co. YouTube channel. Be sure to visit zoneandco.com for articles and guides about today's topic. And again, this is the last podcast of this year. We wish you and your family a happy holidays. Our next episode will air on January 6th, so we'll see you in the new year.